Hey fellow dadpreneurs, Adam Dukes here, and in this video, as you can tell by the title, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be the fun-filled um, online marketing, internet uh, affiliate marketing training that we typically do. As you can see from the title, today marks day number 365 without a sip of alcohol for this guy. Now, I know a lot of people struggle with alcohol, drugs, and other ad addictions. Now, I do not... Um, I, I don't want pats on the back. I don't want good job, attaboys, anything like that. This video, I tr it's truly to inspire others. Um, I had made a post on Facebook earlier. Um, got a lot of congratulations. I really don't like that shit. I, I want to inspire others. I want others to know, like, hey, man, uh, I struggled with this for a long time, and I turned it around. So I got started drinking in the early 20s. In my early, I had late teens, I should say, about 19, uh, when I went off to college. And... I think I, w I wasn't a big beer drinker. I'd have a couple beers, but I wanted the hard shit. I wanted the shit that's going to get me a buzz fast. I, I don't have time for six to eight beers getting full. Give me a Jack and Coke because I want it to hit right here, right now. Um, so I was a Jack and Coke drinker for years, and then I ended up switching to Diet Coke because I had, I would I could drink so much Jack and Coke in a night that the sugar from the Coke, I just, I'd get really, not sick, but the next day was, um, I just didn't like it. So I switched to Jack and Diet, so because a lot of times I could finish off a fifth of Jack in a night. Um, the two big problems were I never threw up when drinking. I think less than five times uh, I threw threw up. I could I could drink until I passed out, literally. That and that's what I did. Like I was full speed ahead. I went all in every time I drank. I didn't know when to stop. That was the big problem. The other problem was I didn't get hangovers. Uh, I could go out drink until three or four. Uh, at night and get up the next morning at eight and be relatively fine. Uh, when I was working, I could go out till one or two in the morning and be at work at six o'clock. Uh, not functioning 100%, but damn near 100%. And I could hide it very, very well. I thought that was a gift. Looking back, I, I know that's a curse now, not having the hangover because it didn't... Um, it didn't uh, deter me from from wanting to, to, to drink again, especially going out on a Friday night, waking up that Saturday, you know, I couldn't wait till Saturday night to do it all over again, you know, and then um, doing the same thing Saturday night and waking up Sunday morning um, and maybe even doing it again Sunday morning. So over the uh, once I had kids six years ago, almost seven years ago, I did slow down. I did cut back. Uh, I would only drink on the weekends. I, and I never was a daily drinker like that, but I did drink on the weekends. The last several years, I would drink pretty much just only on Saturday night. The kid's mom comes and picks them up on Saturday afternoon around two o'clock, and I would fall into this like deep depression um, because the kids weren't there anymore. Uh, the house was filled with loudness and sometimes I'd get frustrated with it. And then I would help get them in the car and then I'd walk back in the house and shut that door. And then it was silent. And within like 30 seconds, I'm like, shit, I miss them. Um, so I would remember the times of the family being together and being disappointed. I'd beat myself up for the family not being together because I was raised with mom and dad and a sister all living together, uh, being raised together, going on vacations together. And I would struggle with the with the thought that that was no longer the case. And I put the blame on my shoulders. It was my fault. So um, I, I beat myself up for it. So a lot of times Saturday evenings, I'd go out and pick up a bottle of um, vodka. I ended up switching to vodka several years ago because I kind of got a little, not violent, like physical violence, but I'd get really loud with Jack Daniels. So I switched to vodka. And so I'd go Saturday nights, pick up a bottle of vodka, come home, and I would literally sit on the couch and drink vodka. Um, a mixed drink of vodka, energy drink, and Powerade. It was a nasty combination. Um, and watch YouTube videos. Not your typical being single on a Saturday night in Las Vegas, but that's what I did, was just kind of drink and watch YouTube videos on the couch. Um, sometimes I'd have a drink or two and like one of these cups, uh, similar cup, I should say, um, a big, big drinks, you know, one or two drinks, and they were strong. I I didn't, I didn't fuck around. I would make very, very strong drinks. Sometimes I'd have four or five of these in a night. Um, and a lot of times I would pass out on the couch with the drink in between my lap and my hand. And then I'd wake up a couple hours later and the drink would be all over me, spilled all over me, all over the couch. <clears throat> um, so last year, last Easter, actually, I woke up on Sunday morning and the kids weren't here. That was the first time that the kids weren't here for Easter uh, Easter egg hunt. That's one of my favorite, favorite things to do with the kids is do the Easter egg hunt. Um, and last year, that hit me hard. I was like, shit, they're not here. Like I was, I was really bummed out. I had two drinks the night before. Um, wasn't like two drinks was not much at all. Um, 
But I was just really bummed out I didn't have the kids. So what I did is I like to do yard work or house some chores, vacuuming, cleaning, dusting. It gets my mind off of things. So I went out in the backyard and did some weeds, pulled some weeds, trimmed some shrubs. And as I was trimming the shrub, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I can go 30 days without alcohol. Uh, it's a challenge that I've tried probably 40 times over the last 19 years and failed miserably uh, just about every single time. Uh, one time I made it like 74 days. Um, and I was like, I wonder if I could do 30 days. And so I tried to, uh, I was like, I'm gonna try it. And the first, uh, really Saturdays are the only days that I would struggle. And uh, that following Saturday, it was a struggle. It was brutal. I couldn't go to the liquor store because that's typically what I do. She would come pick the kids up and then around dinner time every Saturday, I'd go to the liquor store, usually get some fast food, come home, eat the fast food, make up a cocktail and drink Saturday nights away. So that following Saturday was tough because it was just a, it was a nasty habit I had of just going to the liquor store Saturday at six o'clock, just like clockwork you know they knew me in there they almost knew me by name i would bring exact change <laughs> i knew the price um and i a lot of times i would try to buy a pint and they're like the, the pint was like ten dollars and a fifth was like twelve dollars and she would say you know you can get double the size for more but i'm like no if i have more i drink more and so i would try to buy a smaller bottle <clears throat> so i wouldn't drink as much that was the the thinking in my head so anyways last easter i told myself 30 days no drinking uh the first couple weeks were tough but once i hit that 30 days i was like holy shit, i did it like i made it 30 days i wonder if i could go 40. 40 turned into 50 50 turned into 75 and then 75 i was like shit, i might be able to make it to 100. I hit the hundred and I was like, okay, now what? You know, part of me was worried, shit, I might fall off the wagon now because now I hit the hundred. Um, there's nothing to aim for, you know? So I kind of was thinking, oh, maybe 150, maybe 200. I wasn't thinking a year at that time. Um, but then I just kind of lost count and I, I didn't keep track anymore. I just like, it was just, I don't know, it was a new, like normal now. It was a new life, new normal. I broke the habit of going to the liquor store every Saturday. And here we are at 365 days. Um, without a single drop of alcohol, which blows my mind. A year ago, I would have never thought it was possible. I thought it was, I would have laughed in your face. There's no way I could do it. Uh, but the biggest benefit for me is I stuck with a promise that I made to myself and not just stuck with a 30 day promise. It, I, 30 day turned into 365 days. So that, that was such a, that's, that's the biggest benefit. Uh, um, that, that I feel is I have such a huge boost in confidence and increase in um, self-worth. Cause I'm like, holy shit, I, prom I, I stuck with a promise to myself. And not that I stuck with it, I went well, well, well beyond it, you know? So the confidence boost, self-worth boost, uh, up to just like I said, an insane belief in myself now, like shit, if I can do a year without drinking, I can do, I can do whatever. So it's kind of had like a ripple effect um, in other areas of my life. So that's been probably the biggest thing, obviously being there for Ava and Ashton not being sick and hungover and kind of like chubby. And it's funny, I watched some of my YouTube videos from like 2017, 2016, and I can see it in my face. I can see it in my eyes. My face is a little puffier than it is now. And it's just really interesting to kind of look back. That's one of the benefits of YouTube is you can kind of watch your progression. It can go good, it can go bad, uh, but it's kind of interesting to look back. And I can definitely definitely tell in the, those 2016, 2017 days, um, or in 2016 and 2017, where I was drinking more, drinking a lot uh, compared to now, obviously but I can just, I can see it in my face. So um, the message here is, like I said, I gamified it. That, or that's what I call it, gamified it, making it 10 days. I, I wanted to go uh, 10 days and then 20 days and 30 days, 40, 50, 75, 100. And that's what helped uh, me. And I don't believe in addiction as a disease. I, I know there's, I, I don't need scientific studies or anything like that. That's just my belief. I, I, I feel it's uh, willpower. I didn't have the willpower to stop drinking. My willpower was basically zero. And I always wanted to drink. I'm not blaming it was a I had a disease or anything like that. I just don't believe in that. Um, if you believe in it, that's great. My sister is uh, clean and sober, like 11 years now, heroin. She, uh, it was an addiction. It was a disease. I don't see it that way. I, I see it as willpower. It was on me. I didn't have the willpower for years. And I finally gained the willpower to say, fuck this alcohol. I'm going to quit drinking. So again, I know that might, that'll probably piss people off because a lot of people like to, I, I, I look at it as pointing the finger, not taking personal personal responsibility, blaming it as on as a disease. Again, I know there's probably studies out there. I don't care. That's my belief is the willpower. That's how I'm looking at it. So uh, like I said, gamify it. That's
that's what worked for me. Just I, the one day at a time. It's so cliche, uh, but there's a reason it's cliche. It's true, you know. So one day at a time. Um, I never really looked at it like that after like day thirty. Um, like I said, I did, and maybe I wasn't as addicted as I thought. Maybe it was just kind of some bad habits that I had. That's kind of what, uh, like I said, because it's been a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, and part a big part of me is like, shit, why didn't I try this a long time ago? So that's it. That's the video. I like I said, I didn't have a script. This was actually thir the third take because I left a couple things out as I rewatched it and I wanted to do it again and touch on a couple topics. But um, if you have comments, questions, or concerns, drop them down below. Like I said, I don't need any attaboys. I don't need any congratulations. Good jobs. I, I got plenty of that. That's not why this, what this video is for. It's for inspiration. It's to let you know I was I was struggling. Uh, I had demons that I was struggling with for fucking years. Uh, I like doing these YouTube videos. I like having fun with it. I like talking about business. I like uh, trying to be funny with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows on, the, on this side of town. And it never is. It's still not sunshine and rainbows um, over here just because I quit drinking. There's there's other things that I'm dealing with. That was one of the things is it's like an onion. You know, I peeled one thing back. Um, I thought quitting drinking was going to be the ultimate unlock. Everything was going to fall into place. I was going to lose fat. That's the big thing. I thought I was going to lose fat. And I was pretty disappointed that I really didn't um, lose weight and or fat in my stomach because I thought that alcohol was bad for the midsection for men um that was disappointing that i didn't like not have a six pack but i thought i was going to lose some fat there you know i also thought it was going to be the unlock for um just happiness um across the board things and other areas of my life were going to kind of magically come together it hasn't been the case you know certain things like i said it's had a ripple effect in other areas of my life but not everything came together um what i'm learning is it's like life is like an onion and i just peeled one peel back and i, just, I learned like shit i have a lot more peeling to do you know a lot more issues to deal with a lot more um problems that I've been running from and or masking with alcohol for 18, 19 years now. So things that I'm dealing with, things that maybe from childhood, things um, more recently that I'm dealing with, with my ex and things like that, being a better dad, stuff like that. So again, this video is to offer inspiration. Um, Please let me hear down below if you got a story to share. I would love to hear it. I sent out an email to my database, got an uh, uh, overwhelming response uh, from some people. Uh, one guy told me a long ass story that was awesome to, to read, uh, very sad, but it was really cool what he shared with me. Um, I was blown away by it. Um, and then at Facebook, you know, I got a lot of, uh, again, Atta boys, congratulations. That's not what I want. I want to be, I want to be the inspiration that you can certainly do it to whatever, uh, um, problem you have, whether it's drinking, drugs, um, sex, gambling, all that, you know, um, find a support group too. I go to a men's group on a Monday night, kind of rambling here. Like I said, I don't have a script. I go to a men's group at my church on a Monday night. That has been insanely, insanely, insanely helpful. And a lot of those guys in that group actually inspired it, um, because they would talk about quitting drinking. And I was there for relationship problems, not alcohol. But then I was like, shit, if these guys can do it, maybe that is the problem of mine. I'm going to quit drinking. Um, so that, that they were a big, big uh, part of the inspiration. So if you like this type of, uh, I don't really talk about this stuff that much, but I do talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, things like that. Click subscribe, click that little bell notification. Occasionally I will do random videos on struggles that I have, hoping to share some wisdom, some inspiration, some, maybe some motivation. But like I said, hit that subscribe button down below, click that little bell notification, because I release a couple videos each and every week. If you watch this far, I truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you watch any of my videos for any length of time, I am so incredibly grateful. So thank you.